Hello my friends, welcome back to our blood let's play of Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. My name is about this bird, this is your service game channel, and before we move on to Dinopolis, or Dinopolis as I call it, um, there was a lizard to the left of the place that I exited the last video, who actually said you should go talk to the smith uh, before you do anything else. And Enters here also commented and said yeah, you should go check the smith. So here we are with the smith. Ah, the ones who fought Dragon. I heard you've had an audience with the Zomelton. Yeah? Uh, some of us here actually resent their presence. Even if they claim non-interference, their very existence here goes against na the natural flow of time and Mother Earth's will. We've li lived our lives in harmony with the planet, but time traveling is a blind leap away from this principle. We are wondering if you may be sympathetic to our views. For the right price, we sympathize with anyone. <laughs> Magus is so awesome in this chapter. Ah, what do you desire? In sooth, my friends and I wish access to the portal atop Dinopolis. We could, indeed, we shall. We could, indeed, we shall stem the problem at its source in the future. Then no time travelers will return to darken thy door. Yeah, uh, what he said. We got some same stance on meddling in time. Uh, the Zomelton could have disastrous effects here. Whoa, you guys don't play around. Okay, here's the deal. In the area to the east are some materials that I can use to forge ele elementally protective armor. Just clear out the beast and my men will do the rest. In the area east of this house. Okay, it looks like we got a side quest here. We need to go directly east of the house, which is basically right here. And these are the enemies that... Uh, I don't think we actually went this way yet. We kind of stopped here, if I remember correctly. Let's see what we can do. Um, X-Strike the, the big guy, because the big guy is very weak to... Uh, I mean, very strong to spells. Maybe he's not strong to Dark Bomb now. I don't know. Oh, that's not fair. He just threw Cro um, an enemy at Chrono. Thankfully, the spell still hit the bug. Unfortunately, the enemy is still strong to uh, spells. Wow, I think this guy... Oh, I see how this enemy works. I see now. What happens is, if you attack the enemy, and there's another enemy on the screen, he throws that enemy at you for massive amounts of damage. So what you need to do is you need to kill the other enemy first. Yeah, that's what you need to do. I got it. Okay. That's kind of a cool uh, little idea that, there. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I just made a mistake. I thought the bug would have died. And that's what you get for assuming anything. <laughs> you get, wow, almost one shot. Well, of course, that's not a one shot because technically speaking... Uh, he was hit before, but still, that was a lot of damage. If there's one thing I really wish they would have added to this game, more dual techs and triple techs with, uh, or just more dual techs with Magus, because Magus doesn't seem to have, uh, dual techs like other characters get. And that's a, that's a shame in my opinion. This bug won't die, by the way. Wait, was it a boss? Because that's how bosses die. They disappear like that. Huh. Alright, well, let's kill the, uh, the ape, shall we? And the ape is dead. 690, 6 tech, 495 gold, full tonic, glib, learn leap slash, and dual tech spire. I, that, ah, that sounds like a really cool name for attack spire. Attack enemy with spire. Uh, that's a lightning two slash. What is that? Oh, that's a lightning two slash spire move. Um, I'm sorry, not lightning two slash spire. Lightning two slash leap slash move. Okay, got it. He learns water two and three ninety one, which is great. Uh, considering he doesn't even have water one. 
Yeah, he doesn't have a basic water spell, which is interesting. Uh, double tap will be great for Magus once he gets it, considering uh, how strong he is physically. Being able to attack twice when you're that strong uh, could really do a lot of damage. So what's up here? More enemies? Okay, now this battle could be interesting because if there's two apes and they counter the same way the other ape countered, uh, this could be a very difficult fight. But there's only one way to find out. Should we try it? Let's try it. That's cool move. Although X-Strike does just as much damage, to be honest. Um, oh, these guys hurt. 121 damage. That is a lot of damage. Thankfully, they don't counter. So we're, we, we should be able to just heal and attack through these guys. Because enemies in this game do so much more damage than you used to, you kind of have to more strategically attack enemies than you did. That did a lot of damage. And Mag is about to die. I was going to wait for a... Uh, I was trying to wait for uh, a, a Glenn heal, but I can't afford to. I don't know which one I've been hitting because of the way they're grouped together. Uh, I need you to heal... I don't think one heal's going to do it. Oh, man. And the problem is they're both attacking Magus now. Which means I kind of need to heal with Magus and do X-Strike with the others. I don't know which one I've been hitting, though, because they've been moving around the screen. Okay, there's a throw. Um, we'll go ahead and do a Lapis here. Because we got a ton of Lapises when we were grinding earlier. Because all the enemies dropped Lapises, which was wonderful, by the way. And I'll have him mid-tonic. It's almost like every, every fight feels like a boss battle in a way. You can't just go into this game and just run right through it with your eyes closed. And you could do that in the original Chrono Trigger. Like, the original Chrono Trigger, you just fight any enemy that you come across. And by doing that, you'll eventually get through the game with zero palms at all. In this game, if you try doing that, you're going to end up in the dirt. Alright, this X-Strike -like should kill him, right? Nope, he's still alive. All right, now he's dead. 1,200 experience, 6 tech, 800 gold, a full tonic, Glenn leveled up, Megas leveled up. Fantastic level ups are wonderful. Uh, let us go ahead and heal up. And then what I'll do is probably drop an ether or two. Uh, just one, actually. Okay, this should be the final battle. battle. And it's more complicated now because we have squids. Oh, what's the best way to do this? Uh, Cyclone? And Dark Bomb? Uh, Venomous? I better wait. Because if I kill them, I don't want to uh, trigger a counter. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kill those three without attacking the ape. And unfortunately, as they move, that makes it harder and harder. But I can still hit them there. Let's wait for the damage. Okay, kill both of those guys. So now we can uh, spin cut this guy. Maybe follow up with the leap slash. That did a lot of damage. That did as much damage as X-Strike. That was wonderful. All right, we'll continue to do the same thing here. Just basically bully the beetle as much as possible while leaving the cave, ape, the cave ape alone. And there it goes. And we got the slow fade away of the, uh, the boss animation here. 
I hope this completes the quest. Because if it does if it doesn't complete the quest, I'm gonna be thinking, well, what were we supposed to do? We killed all the enemies here. <laughs> It's interesting with the uh, the cave ape as enemies in this area because we have been just using nothing but magic basically, but the cave apes kind of make us change that. Because now we have to use physical attacks to hit these apes because they're so, they're so resistant to magic. It looked like Leap Slash and uh, Spin Cut did more damage than uh, X-Strike. So I think we'll just continue to do that. Don't get me wrong, x ray looks cool as can be. It's just, yeah, a lot more damage. All right. There's something here. Find a power tab. Huh. Who don't want to get the power tab to? That's actually a tough decision. Uh, normally, I would try to go to Chrono. But Glenn could use it too. I'm going to give it to Chrono. You see, the thing is, you don't have to rely on items like you did in uh, the original Chrono Trigger. And what I mean by rely on items, I mean you don't have to rely on giving Chrono all your power tabs. Because in the original Chrono Trigger, you basically always had Chrono in your party, so you always wanted him to be as strong as possible. In this version, you, you, you have a lot more freedom. Thanks, my men will begin harvesting the power spots. Why don't you guys rest for a while? I just rested. Oh well. It's only 80. Oh, we're gonna get a story sequence here? Oh, the dots. I twice horrible. No one knew me. Not even the king and lean. None had ever even heard of Cyrus. Twas like falling into a nightmare, and the mystics were still attacking. Following Kashmir, I had no choice but to return to the battlefield. All because King Zeo removed the Masamune? The scope is unfathomable. It begs the question, how many lives, how many souls have we affected? It doesn't matter. Your case is unique. To the people of this world, their lives are how they always were, no matter what's changed. Dowart knows thou art so nonchalant. Doth not it concern you that Scala had been lost again? All oh, the dots. Indomitable will creates omnipotence. I am never in doubt that I will find her. I'm used to feeling this way. Are we not are we now gods that determine who lives and dies? Do not the reptites matter? Even a disgusting fog can have worth. Hey, uh, enough, you guys. We changed history to save billions of lives in 1999 AD and after. Stop second-guessing yourselves. We gotta focus on the real problem right now, so rest up. Who knows how tough it'll be to ransack Dinopolis? Uh, the dots. I... Yeah... Kind of like, well, we changed time too, didn't we? Here you go. This will give you a fighting chance. We'll be ridding you on. Retreat. Received elemental armor. Good luck. Restore time back for us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what this armor does. Cyan Cover. Cloud Cloak. Oh, we got an Absorb Light and Absorb Water, and we have an Absorb Shadow. So why don't we give the... Um, the absorb light to Magus and the absorb you cannot equip the absorb water oh I think I did the uh, wrong one yeah we'll give you absorb water even though your water element and sounds weird we'll just do it like this uh, how much defense by the way does it give us wow a lot yeah that was that's plus 16 defense that is a lot of extra defense so this was totally worth the extra 15 minutes or so. Uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, definitely. So let's head down to uh, Dinopolis. Let's see if we can avoid this fight here. Of course we don't. You had to run to the right to avoid the fight, not go to the left. I always get that wrong. 
Uh, what's the best way to kill these guys? Fire two? Yes, fire two. And then... It's probably better just waiting. Wish it was a defend command in this game. You know, something that you could use when you don't want to attack. Because for now, we'll just wait for Magus to be charged, do another fire two. This will kill all um, the enemies, and we can move on uh, south. And I don't think we have been south yet before, so this will be a new adventure. This should kill them. They should not be able to survive two of these. Easy peasy. And we got mid-ether from it. So actually, that was uh, very good. Um, if I was still in the mood to uh, grind, it would be a great place to grind. Oh, I did not mean to attack this guy. That was a mistake. I tried to run around him, and I got stuck. Thankfully, it's only him, and it's not the enemy that's straight above him for some reason. Uh, so this should not be too difficult. Just gotta hit him and hit him and hit him. That's all. He's not dead yet. Ah, da, 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 da. Magus seems to like have ape attraction perfume on him or something. Because Magus has been getting the, the bad end of those guys constantly. Hey, Chrono leveled up. Sweet. Worth it. And we say, play spurt, wouldn't it be better to do slurp than heal? Well, they both cast one MP. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just using the more powerful version. Let's head south. Since the save point is on our way, we will just drop a save real quick. First time heading south in the jungle. Chrono, tis the praying metal man. It's a cyborg. You have also been bought here. You seem to be showing up everywhere you go lately. I wonder if that's Grobic and Konokos. Pipe down, Chrono. He may be of use. Your friend is correct. I believe it is in our best interest to join forces. Oh. Potent words from a vet such as thee. We are the only ones surviving relics of the past timeline. I have detected a temple disturbance at the top of this tower. It is in our mutual interest to restore history. Well, hold on a sec. Glenn, Magus, come here. How can it be that he is in this locale? Well, it makes sense because if we're only in 1005 AD and the whole world changed around us, but he's immune to time traveling change because he's a time traveler himself. Um, wait, is he a time traveler? Yeah, he went to the future, right? Uh, so that would make sense why he's here. He went to Chronopolis briefly from 1005 AD, so it's guaranteed a return trip. It makes a good point, though. Perhaps we should even use him as a sacrifice. Well, if thou art amenable to his presence. Yeah, let's do it. All right, you can come along. The gate's at the top of the highest tower. For the purpose of this mission, you may call me Soren. Aww. Is that name Groybik? All right, Soren, let's get going. We'll find a way to the top. You know what would be great, too, is if you could take out a bunch of enemies for us. Just saying. <laughs> Here we are, back in Dinopolis. And this way is sealed off again. Maybe you have to go uh, via the down way this time. Well, might as well talk to the Dinos. Halt! Hey, it's you guys. Sorry, but no visitors are allowed while the Zombleton group is around. Move. What? I said no one's allowed. Last chance. Thou art to listen to him. Alright, it looks like we gotta fight these guys in every timeline. Ugh, I have my suspicions about you guys. We'll stop you from violating the sanctity of this place, you stubborn fools. Although hopefully these guys will be a lot easier to kill now than they were, you know, when you just had Marl. Do I want to hit a lightning too? I mean, it's super expensive. Why, someone like, um, 
sword stream or extract is a lot cheaper. Let's try sword stream. Ah, nice. That's a good move. I hit the wrong one. Well, either way, it's it seems like it's gonna take another hit to kill these guys. Oh no, that that did it. Uh, ten tech point, pine fight, uh, mid ether. Uh, alert! The strange visitors are entering Dinopolis. Ugh. Let's go. Where did Soren go? Uh, 81. May Zalatan bring us together. Yes, yes, yes. Um, up or down? Let's try down. Hello? The cell has been used since 1 AG. The final prisoner's remains have been disturbed. The pendant looks interesting, but what disturbed the prisoner's resting place? Is this, um, Guardia? No, it's... No! No! Oh, no, I just realized what that was. That pendant, it's... Oh, the dots. Nay. That's Marl. What was her name? The records show that her name was Marl. One of the last fierce warriors of the human species. Chrono. Arrgh! Chrono. Uh oh, this is gonna get ugly. Let's get out of here. Chrono, art thou okay? Let's get this over with. Oh, the dots. Marl. Aw, that's tragic. Oh, man. At least we know where she is, right? Man, the way the music just stops during that whole scene, that is, that's some messed up stuff, man. All right, let's see if we can avoid most of the enemies on our way up. Looks like we can't get that chest because the chest was already gotten in a previous timeline. And this chest was already gotten in a previous timeline. So it's mostly like we're just following up uh, someone else's steps. Do we need to use a shelter? How are we looking? Yeah, probably. I mean, we do have 34 of them. And we can always get more. Uh, sneaky bite by those guys. I don't want to mess with the ape. Jump down. See, I pressed no and he still jumped down. That's so strange. Here's where we fought the Vision Serpent. Koyopa, I heard the alert. Why are you attacking Dinopolis? Step aside, now. Don't make me repeat myself. Seems we misjudge you. We can't let you use the portal. Guards, get them. That's a lot of reptites. Just saying. That is a lot. Do you have any AOE stuff? Yeah, Venom Mist. You get four out of the five. Yeah, here's where we just spam our AoEs as much as possible. We'll just kill the one on the left last. It's not really a big deal. I mean, you'll only have like 200, 300 more HP uh, than all the other ones that we're killing here. Yep. And now we just beat him up. Yeah, there we go. Man, it's so much easier when you have AoEs, let me tell you. 25 tech points, a mid ether, cleanse level up, magus level up. Remember how hard it was to kill two of them with Marl? It was like impossible. Alright, so here we have a lizard dactyl, and these things are horrible. Because they resist lightning. 
But at the same time, if we don't hit lightning, you know what I should do is I should hit lightning with a uh, chrono and then fire two and then heal chrono. So what's gonna happen is chrono's gonna get confused. Yeah, chrono's confused. Magus is going to follow up with a fire too, which is going to hurt the uh, dactyl and also the, uh, the the dinosaurs. Magus is going to get countered, but he's immune. And then heal's going to come off, which will heal his status. Now, before we finish this fight, though, we definitely need to heal because there may be more coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a Lapis on Chrono. And then a fire two on Magus. And so basically everyone will be at max HP and the Lizard Doctor will die. And perfect. That whole fight went exactly to plan. And we got a Lapis back. As expected, we got a lot more enemies. This time they're a lot more spread out. Uh, but thankfully, we do not have a, uh, a Dactyl here. So we're going to Lightning 2. We're going to Lightning 2 again. We're going to fire a... Do we need to fire a heal? It doesn't hurt. Man, the difference between Magus' Lightning 2 and Krona's Lightning 2... In terms of damage and magic points. Because don't forget, Magus, uh, he gets reduced uh, spell casting. Lightning 2 again. Lightning 2 again. I don't know if they're still going to be alive, but if they are, I'll mid ether chrono. I'm hoping they survive one more Lightning 2 here. So we get the mid ether up. And then Magus can, should be able to clean him out. Perfect. Ha ha! These fights are going perfectly. Man. Chrono leveled up too. And it, here comes the boss. Yep. So this is the destiny the planet has been chosen for us. Assailants from outer space will corrupt the world using our own time travel technology. I lied. We're time travelers too. And you're in the way of history. Oh, the exclamation marks. Go after him! Don't let him get away! What are you doing? Well, it gives us a chance to heal up, I guess. Although, I think we're doing well. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine. So, you're time travelers. Apologies. We require the use of yonder portal. Why? Where did you come from? You'd erase an entire civilization and restore yours without a second glance? Bah, well, Kohoka is not back from antiquity, so we'll have to take care of them ourselves. There's really no other way? All the dots. Angard. Alright. No idea how strong these guys are. Apparently they're plenty strong now. Yeah, they're plenty strong. Uh, what's the best thing to do here? AoE or single target? Probably AoE. And then... I think we should actually wait to heal here. Until they do another AoE. Or something. And it's just throwing basic attacks. Not really frightening. Let's fire it off now. I'm telling you, with Magus in your party, everything is just so much better. <laughs> Doing well here so far. 
do 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 because of the ice too. And that hits Glam, which is fine. What was that? Was that an antipode? That was weird. Um, you guys could always do a sword stream here. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Magus has got this. We got an elixir for that. Cool. And everyone leveled up as well. Magus leveled up multiple, multiple times? That's weird. This is it. I wonder if it will hurt. Truly, I, I am sorry. We'll use this to appear a few moments before the Adesh Kada. Where have you been? Let us go. Like, you were totally useless this entire time. We just let him go first? What are you guys thinking? Come on. I was thinking, won't we get hit by the time capture? But the time capture doesn't exist, does it? This place, this is it. This is weird. Because we're all here too. I get it. The dragon tooth is the reason history has changed. Soren, what are you doing? Self-destruction mode activated. Do not worry. I will destroy this dragon tooth. No! Soren! Such arrogance to your benefactor! Who was a hero after all? How about that? He sacrificed himself to restore the timeline. The spell's about to finish. Come on! We need to save everyone. Including Ayla. Uh, you guys! This could only mean... Uh, perhaps something intervened where I sent you! I'll just have to kill you right here! Must my mother and father both be so delusional? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I don't mean to laugh at that, but I'm sorry. Your prattering is inconsequential! Shut your mouths and die! Lux! Hoop. I see, so you're a light innate, eh? Maybe you can feel it too, the emanation of the frozen flame. It's naked instinct, the uncovered, unbound desire for power, for advancement, for more, even of everything. Communication with it has taught me so much and has given me so many new perspectives on this existence. Wouldn't you like to be bathed in this light, you poor weakling? Chrono, help Ayla. The meaning cannot endure much more. Idiot, stop the spell or we're all dead. Attacking Zeal, save Ayla. Absolutely. No, I can't sacrifice all these people. Ugh! The spell's disrupted. This isn't over, it's still quite potent, even unfinished. May your ashes disintegrate before they hit the ground. I swear, because I had the option to Stop the spell or save Ayla. I hit save Ayla, but yet he stopped the spell. Oh well, it worked. Agent 86? Sacre bleu! It is over! I saw a flash, but it looks like there is nothing too serious. Oh, a lot of injuries. Scala is ready to heal Ayla in the chief's hut. Let us head back to Coropolis. Oh, we still got a lot to do, though. Father, just as strong as mother, mostly. 
Hey, Skull is here. I think I shall call this game back gaming. I gave, I gave, oh yes. Yeah, I already heard that before. Ugh. It seems that part of the spell was absorbed when you attempted to save her. I think she should make a full recovery soon. I know you'll take good care of her. So what do we do now? Where are, we're back in 65 million minus five years BC. All right, my friends, well, I'm the Flightless Bird. This is your Soybeast Gaming Channel, and a lot happened in this episode. We saved Ayla. We finished Dinopolis, maybe. Uh, <laughs> we'll still have to wait and see how many times I have to go through it. Uh, but for now, thank you again for everything. I love you so much, and until next time, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.